Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Reader Race here, bringing you back another Randy ass commentary. That's almost over 108 and 6. Double nuclear, rocket non lethal setup on the map raid. Using the FAL Select Fire Silencer and Stock. This gun is just absolutely insane. Uh, this is one of my favorite assault rifles. This is probably the only assault rifle I'll use. Uh, I like the M48 when I get host, but other than that, I really don't like any other ones. Maybe the M27 because it's kind of no recoil, but the rest, and eh, they're not really up to par. But this FAL with Select Fire on anything is just absolutely insane. Saying. They said they somehow patched it. They patched the fire rate, the recoil, or something like that. I don't, I don't feel any different. Cause I, this might be after this. I think this is after the patch, after I got more recoil. But I still cannot notice anything. This gun is just absolutely insane for every map. Cause it's super good long range, super good close range, and it's just, it's just super good gun. You guys should definitely try it if you haven't. I think you'll knock select fire at 13. So we're gonna have to stick to this single fire for a hell while. That's the worst part about using this gun, and that's why I didn't have select fire in, in the beginning and brought you guys some sorry full gameplay. It's just cause it took so long to get. Uh, it's but it's so good when you get it. So. Trust me, get it when you can. Uh, like I said, it's a double nuclear. I don't even know if it's a triple nuclear. This gameplay is so, so, so incredibly old. Uh, I haven't been able to brought to you guys, but here it is. Uh, I th I can't even I, I don't even remember much about this gameplay so sorry about that that's it that's pretty much it for the gameplay talk and what I want to talk about is my wish list for Modern Warfare 4 or whatever Call of Duty it's gonna be on I know it's a little early to just be making this or anything but I know everyone's looking forward to the new Call of Duty and hopefully it's not completely destroyed so first off the things I don't want in the game so like I said well, I'm probably not gonna bring in Dead Man's Hand and all that stuff so I hope they don't bring in One Man Army Dead Man's Hand One Man army danger close claim more bouncing betty's target finders and pretty much everything that is explosive i feel like every call of duty puts in some ridiculous freaking stupid explosion for no freaking reason a uh, cod 4 that was triple frag that's freaking uh explosives everywhere uh in world of war it was the bouncing betty's and the mp40 but still it's another explosive modern fair 2 uh, you you guys better know what is wrong with that game. It's just absolutely insane of how much freaking stupid shit there was. There was one man army, danger close, noob tubes, commando, and all that stuff. It's always explosives that get you. And then Modern Warfare 3, it was Dead Man's Hand, uh, Black Ops Second Chance, and now it's this game. And it's just ch charges and bouncing betties and target finders. It's explosives and it's just cheap shit they put into a game. I don't know if they're ever going to make a good Call of Duty where they just don't put any cheap shit in. Uh, I don't even know why they'd put in the target finder or anything that makes this game easier. Uh, I, I think there's a new community manager. Oh, thanks, Droid. God, that's why I hate doing commentaries on my phone because fucking Droid always ruins them. But sorry, I just got a phone call and I, I, I don't even know. I just ruined the recording, so just going to keep talking. Um, I can't I honestly can't even remember what I've talked about, but how they just put all this cheap shit into Call of Duty, I really don't know why. I guess it makes it kind of easier, but I don't know. Call of Duty is really not the towards the competitive side of players. They're just trying to make a game where it's just easy to play and all that stuff, but they really need to stop putting all the cheap shit in because this game gets really frustrating. I don't know if you guys have known or tested this out at all, but everyone gets pissed off at Call of Duty. I've handed my little cousin that's like three years old the controller, and he got ranged then through the controller like literally everyone will get pissed people that like say why well, are you rage quitting what are you doing like you have not been randied because everyone rage quits uh, if you don't rage quit I, I don't i don't even know but that's just what i don't want in the new call of duty pretty much no bullshit but you know every call of duty's got some bullshit we have like a new community manager i think it's a chick or something so she might fall into all the people that are sending sending her death threats and all that stuff so hopefully monitor for four or whatever company built and hopefully it's not sledgehammer because i'm pretty sure sledgehammer made the maps in monitor for three and i really didn't like too many of the maps uh i don't really know why except for boule goes map was the shit but uh, and I like the thing they did was this. All right, well, I can't even talk about that. So I'm going to say what I want in Call of Duty. So, I mean, in the next Call of Duty, I definitely want specials, bonus, and a Moab or a nuke. The Moab and the nuke is pretty much what saved Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. That's why the game lasted its entire lifespan, even though half the games were broken and all that stuff. It's just because it's simple fact because they had something like that. So, say you're playing Black Ops 2 and you get a nuclear and your little accolade pops up and you're like, oh, sweet, and you tell your brother to come look and he's like, oh. That's, that's gay as fuck. See, when you call it a nuke, you're like, yeah, because you're, you're games and all that stuff. And the more I because you can see a little counter and everything explodes. Like, it's so much better. I don't know why they want to just put that in Black Ops 2. That would have been so sick if you get the 30 gun streak and you get a little nuke that just kills your entire team. 
I, I don't really know why they didn't even bother to put that in because as you can see Black Ops 2 is eh, I'm not gonna say that but it's almost there see if they would have put the nuke in or just, why can't you just have I don't know I don't think you could put a patch into a game where it's like oh here's here's a nuke here's three months in this game here's here's a nuke that'd be kind of awkward but like I said they definitely need something like that specialist bonus that's just so fun to get so many kills of that it's like running non lethals but you get all the perks definitely want that uh, definitely want C4 because C4 is the absolute shit, and I want the uh, the old C4 where you have to like cl you have to like click the button and then do it. Cause back in black and back in Black Ops, uh, I loved where you had to click the button and throw the C4 out. I don't really know why. Uh, I made it so you your less tryhards are going around freaking throwing C4. It's kind of I know when all like every time I try to face like a 2KD player that just absolutely sucks. All they do is throw C4, but when you have that you have to click the up button to get it out. Like you usually don't get C4 that much. Uh, so I'd really like them to have that, and plus the double C4 was absolutely insane, because the noobs, they didn't even know how to use it. Uh, hopefully they have some new equipment that doesn't involve freaking stupid-ass bouncing betties. Uh, I'm, I kind of want the support uh, package, the support strike package, but there's a few things that need to be changed is the stealth bomber and the EMP, and uh, I think it's the juggernaut recon, so like, you should not be getting lethal kill streaks from your your non-lethal setup whatever it is uh, i really think they should have that I don't, I don't know about vests the support thing was really fun even though it kind of ruined things for the smaller youtubers which i was but i really kind of want them to put the support back in there because that was always really fun to just go absolutely ham in the spawn and it made the game last the entire length of it so those are just a few things i want and i want the I want the snipers to be nerfed because you guys remember back in Black Ops, the snipers were absolutely garbage. The no scope aim assist was just nowhere and all that stuff. And I want the shotguns to be back where they were because the Spaz 12, I, I try, the Spaz 12 back in Black Ops, there's nothing that good. I love that gun so much. And after then, like the Remington, it's not really that fun to use. I don't know. I just feel like the Spaz 12 is just a, such a fun gun to use. I keep having to press that button on my phone so I can unlock it because it's like a 30 second delay. But those are just a few things make sure to leave in the comment section below of what you want to be in a put like the, what you don't want and what you want i just kind of want to see you guys opinions on what you guys want to see and don't put i don't want to see another call of duty because call of duty sucks but just make sure to leave a comment leave a like follow me on twitter i'm underscore ways and if you enjoyed this video leave a like or comment peace whoop.